And back to the shenanigans we go, my loves. We are in the zombie factory. I wish the people making these fake books would at least try to make them look real. I don't know how to feel right now. <laughs> A fireplace with no fire, no logs, and no chimney. Nothing suspicious here. Let's keep looking. That is not a medically approved use of nipple rings, kids. Remember, kids. Practice safe nipple ring usage. There's a poem inscribed on this bookcase. What's it say? It's been worn down. I can't read it. That doesn't even rhyme. Well. There's some poetry inscribed on this coffin. My dark mistress longs for death to return to her velvet sepulcher. Her only passion, the void's embrace, or else she'd reply to my letters. That's poetry? I didn't say it was good poetry. I have a feeling I need to. Can you kill that. a man with pure volume? I don't know, but I just got the name for my next thrash metal album. Volume. Ready to drop some fat beats or something? Nah, I'm okay. I went before we left. Oh, I have no idea what I'm doing. Why do they always have bottles of water at raves? Because of all the drugs, Sam. Then we better take one. <laughs> All the drugs, Sam. <laughs> Not the drugs. Just when you thought things couldn't get any better. Undead fish. Hmm. Alright. Let's go do some more exploring. Floating chandelier. Are we going to swing from the chandelier? What the heck? Oh. That's odd. Somebody dropped a typewriter ribbon. What good is that? What we really need are healing herbs. Ha! Uh, Resident Evil reference. Call it that. Oh, get down, Sam. Look at you. My dark mistress longs for death to return to her velvet sepulchre. Her only passion, the void's embrace, or else she'd reply to my letters. Pain. 
pure energy. Torment. Letters. So, now that we know what everything says, Okay. Death. 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 Sepulcher. Embrace. Letters. Ha ha. Look, Max. Jeez, Sam, I saw it open. I'm not an idiot. Also, sorry for the flashing lights. I need you to put the I can't see a thing. The video. Is that your hand? Oops, sorry, little buddy. It's the spotlight for the zombie stands for. Wait, can we use the... Yes. Hot, 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 hot. Well, don't touch it, Max. Find the swinging razor sharp pendulum. What razor sharp? Ow! That wasn't here before. Oh, so Jurgen's the only one who's allowed to redecorate? Max, I need you to chill. <laughs> I really need you to chill. There's a pack of garlic clove cigarettes in here. We're not leaving, are we? Let's go home. Let's go home. Yeah, let's head back home. How are we driving like, you know what, I need to stop questioning this. Cause there was somewhere else we were supposed to be going. Where are we headed, Sam? Nowhere, I just like exploring my options. I feel like I'm missing something. Let's go back to Stuttgart. Wow, the cops actually installed something well for one. Where are we headed, Sam? Let's go to Stuttgart. It's empty. Oh, we gotta put the garlic clove cigarettes back in there. Then you won't let us in without them. <laughs> oh, wait, that was good. Excuse us, Mr. Vampire Prince. Uh, we're here to destroy you. And everything you stand for. Have you learned nothing? You can never destroy me without destroying the source of my power. Where is the source of your power exactly? Just curious. Yeah, we just want to look at it. Americans! 
The source of my power is not something you can buy and own. It is my style. The zombies love me because of my rhymes, my moves, my staying always on top of the latest trends. A style is the only thing that is truly immortal, apart from vampires, which I am also. Oh, okay. So, you're a big fan of Midtown Cowboys over here? Ja, it's Deutschland's most popular program. All the young people in the gymnasium wear the t-shirt which read, You probably hide the cow. <laughs> Her family's world is eternal confusion and pain. I appreciate the show on another level, of course, which is why the zombies love me. New location unlocked. What was that? You haven't heard the newest club hit, New Location Unlocked? Oh, you're so tragically unhip. Wow. <clears throat> Not to pry, but are you having a grand mal seizure? Get me a belt so I can put it under his tongue. <laughs> you clumsily refer to my dancing, I presume. No surprise that you do not appreciate my moves. But my people recognize me as Uberfly. Witness! Yeah! <laughs> See that? That is power, my American friends. Okay. We'll leave you alone. For now. Count the hours, Jurgen. Count the hours until you're doom! Yeah, sure. Remember, there's a two-drink minimum. Cat, what are you doing? <laughs> she always waits until I'm recording to get into things. There's a pack of garlic clove cigarettes in here. Okay, so I did have to talk to you again. We're not leaving, are we? Yes, we are. Let's go to the WARP studios. Oh, boy! Finally, you're here. Let's get this started. A very special Midtown Cowboys. Scene four, take one in five, four... Hang on. Ah, I can't work like this. Actors. Oh, fine. Take five, everyone. Just come talk to me when you're ready. I'm confused. Hello, Bessie. Still not speaking to me? I see. Well, you did say Bessie was in a love triangle with you and an alien. But Max was involved, so that'd be like a love square. Look, Max, it's our old co-star, Philo Pennyworth. Featherly! The name is Featherly! I thought you didn't like us calling you by your character name. Are you method acting or something? Hardly. I've legally changed my name to Mr. Featherly. Philo Featherly? No, Mr. Featherly. It simplifies the licensing contracts considerably. I see. Did you know you're really popular in Germany? Did I know? It changed my life! That ill-conceived dalliance in prismatology left me penniless! You should have thought about a nest egg. When I was poor, I would have taken offense at that. Now I say ha! 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 Okay. Do you have any crazy fans? A Miss Greta Grunwald of Cologne. She insists on sending me scandalous photos of herself with messages about how she enjoys dark meat. Ugh. Oh, Greta! Oh, she keeps sending me messages about Hassenpfeffer. <coughs> Awkward. With your new popularity, do you need some freelance bodyguards? No. If Ms. Pandemic rejects my application to be her suitor, I may need to call on Miss Grunwald. A wise actor must adapt and adjust. What happened to your love of the theater? Hmm, let me see. 
I could play Torvald in a doll's house two shows a night for an entire year and still not make as many euros as I get from licensing a single poster of my beak. Not my face, just the beak. Hmm. Are you ready for a new season of Midtown Cowboys? I've been ready for several months, but the director insisted that you two appear for some unfathomable reason. Didn't you receive her phone calls? Well, we have been busy. Becoming president, saving the world, deleting random messages from the answering machine. What's the secret to a great performance? Please the true me. art <laughs> of theater is all about improvisation. Uh, an oral surgeon from Houston during the French Revolution. Well now, missy, looks to me like what y'all got is an impacted molar. Damn you, Robespierre, and see. Do you understand? A great actor must be ever prepared for any eventuality. Uh, sure. Break a leg. Or worse! We're ready to start filming. It's about time! Alright people, places everyone! Let's make some money! Art! Let's make some art! Tonight, a very special episode of Midtown Cowboys. Can't we just ignore the problem and hope it will go away? Mr. Featherly needs our help, pal. Oh, there he is now. I must have left my bag in here. <gasps> I knew it. I knew you were hiding a cow. That's right, Mr. Featherly. We have been hiding a cow. But you've been hiding something much worse. What? I don't know what you're talking about. For the love of God, Mr. Featherly, stop with the lies! Just look what you're doing to Bessie. We saw what's inside your bag. How do you explain this? Gil Royals brand garlic clove cigarettes? Admit you have a problem. Uh, all right, I admit it. I am addicted. But how could anyone resist I'm a lung full of garlic-flavored smoke? <laughs> They taste good. Man, they're good for you. What a heart-smart smoking choice. And they make you look so cool. Let's buy some. <laughs> wow. Sounds like Bessie wants her own pack of Gil Royals brand garlic clove cigarettes. And that's a wrap. See that, boys? That is acting. Cry closer to <laughs> Take that year again. Are we leaving already? I mean... Yes, we are. Let's go back to the office. <clears throat> Let's go to the office. The lucky verm I'm not even. Alright, let's go inside. I'm gonna turn this water holy. Sim, sim, salabim! Holy water. All right. Although I'm curious about this. 
Isn't that cute, Max? The rats have set up their own little casino. Where's Jimmy Two Teeth? I want to show him a new sleeper hold I learned. The boss is busy. He can't be too busy for us. We're the ones who gave him his big break. Not to mention various smaller fractures and sprains. The boss is busy. Where are we headed, Sam? Stuttgart. Let's go to Stuttgart. Drink up now. Or with it. Mmm. Tastes like righteousness. <laughs> Let's go inside, Sam. The urge to club is upon me. Yeah, zombie guys. I'm so down with the smoking, yo. Smooth. Not so cool now, are you, Master Jurgen? It is but a minor setback. My zombies still know who is the master of style, am I right? What happened? I feel the original sin again. The holy water wore off. Did you make a no-no while I wasn't looking? No, honest, Sam. It just wore off. Well, heck. <laughs> All right, we'll continue the shenanigans on our next episode, my loves. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like what you saw about me, smash the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. And I'll meet you back here for more shenanigans and insanity. Take care of yourselves. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye.